Well, eh, paperwork, it paves the way, but I, well, I know a little bit about the history of Maracone Springs. It's quite a beautiful little tale, isn't it? Caught in the middle of the war, Apex Crusaders come along, and hey, you want to go about it for yourself. Am I right? Am I approaching the truth here? That's, uh, yep, that's, uh, history of, uh, the brief, recent history of our, uh, of our little township. Oh, that's by the way, I want to, oh, gosh, hey. I should have casted this earlier. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a risk and cast it now. Uh, I'm gonna All cast right. Detect Alignment. Alright. The alignment I want to detect is lawful. Lawful, Okay. It'd be good to know, because if he doesn't ping, then... Hmm. Actually. God. No, I'm going to detect good. Oh. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, I'm going to detect good, not lawful. Um, And I'm going to visually, eyes are going to be the affected thing. Assuming okay. it works, it could fail. Alright. Nine. Okay, that's an eight. Um. Yeah. And I'm just going to say, uh, retract it. Okay, so you can't cast a spell until you commute again. Yeah. Uh, does he ping good? He does ping good. That's bad. <laughs> does... <laughs> Question. Since you're, you know, Mr. Omniscient Word of God alignment, does Cherry ping good? Is she good? Um... I think it's debatable. Take a look here. Uh, no, she's neutral, so... No, she, she doesn't no. ping. Yeah, okay, yeah, no, you do not ping yeah. good. I think Why don't you do that move in a mirror, Lydian? Oh, it, he wouldn't... <laughs> he knows what he is. <laughs> and it's not good. Actually, no, he doesn't know what he is. That's the fucking tragedy of it. <laughs> Lydian's alignment is technically lawful, but that doesn't mean shit. You see, the funny thing is, if you tech, if you did check lawful, both you and Nico would ping. Me and who? Nico would uh, ping. Oh god, he's lawful. Yeah. What well, fucking? Yeah. The only laws he follows are the laws of physics, and even then, only passingly. Oh no, it's just proving. Uh, you, you just picked it because it's proved the value of your inventions to other. It, it, he's. That's weird. That's not what I would imagine lawful would be. Yeah. I do see a certain amount of lawfulness in, like, I feel Nico has a very rigid, you know, like, this is important. Advancing the science, you know, is the goal. Like, that is the moral good that Nico, you know, believes in, so to speak, almost. Like, they will. They believe in doing something for the science is like moral justification, and it's something yeah. that they hold to. All right. Yeah. So yeah. now then, what can I do you for that? What are you here to talk about? Well, I uh, I see a good man before me, and I know you want what's best for your people. God, that is the. I'm very happy if I see a good man before me after that, because that is the dumbest thing to say. Yeah. yeah. No, that's so good. That's so fucking strong. Well, uh, I I understand what you wish for this town. You want to go it alone. You want to be strong, make all the... Do it. Go about it for yourself. But And this isn't to put it down, because I agree with the intent. I'm a man who has made his own way in the world as well, and I made my way here to your neck of the world. So I'm going to tell you this. It won't be easy to go it alone. Maybe one day. Maybe when you got everything you need. But in these early days, connections are everything. And I come here with connections. To what? Connections to who? Well, my business is for a start. Now, Marcon where are you from? I'm, you know what? No, he's just going to say it. Well, not that it matters. I'm from the Emerald Forest, but I've moved here and there. Ooh, nice guy. Huh? Uh, Cherry yeah. cocks her head to the side a bit at that. She actually, she didn't know that. Yeah, he has not. He has not said that. It's not a lie, even though it kind but of is, true. given the context. Our businesses, of course. Well, 
not too many here and there. What I'm proposing is we're not gonna we're not gonna take any of your workers' money away. But we wanna be a business here. We wanna help you get that early start. You still have the mines, correct? You just took the mines back from the cities that once laid claim to them, took them for the people who actually had to live and work in these parts. That's right. That's right. When, now, I'm in the mining business, I know the ins and outs of it, but I'm also in the transport business, and I know how important it is to shuttle goods. What I'm saying is, my connections run here and there, we've got a little bit of a network that we're forming, how about you let us get some exclusive contracts to move that stuff early on? Make that st all we do is we'll handle that. Just pay us for the pay us for the privilege. Then you can start drawing connections. Nothing official. You will not be bequeathed to any other city. Nothing like that. Just you know, getting the ball rolling on this because the war's over. The connections are being built again. Being disconnected. It's an ideal, but, well, we call them ideals because they ain't reality. So you want me to let a foreign business start up here to start trans to start working with the mines? Not start up, but, you know, establish a branch. And yes, uh, I'm a foreigner. If you're going to make that a dirty word, then I'm sorry, but Maracone Springs is going to be in trouble before too long. And Cher Cherry does lean in. You're looking at it the wrong way. You, the workers of Maracone, should take your own minds and start work, but a town needs, you know, can't survive an embargo. I mean, and where we are, the resources for food and things aren't great. You need income as a city, a way to support yourself. So you need to run your own mines, produce your goods, and begin trading. And the other cities, they don't want that, because right now, they control the mines. You don't control it yourself. And that's why, you know, you we have this embargo, and no one's supporting you. But if you're willing to trade to Emberwell and give them, you know, these terms, exclusive rights, you know, through trade. Or, oh shit, wait, no. Or, um... No, I, hang on, I'm gonna save that. You can keep that. Yeah. Well, there were some Emberwell boys in town from a transport company. I assume that was already in play. Emberwell boys? With those other out-of-towners? You know about them? Oh, I know my business. Know models. about them? I yeah, am from yeah, Emberwell. Nice. This works. We pivoted this to yeah. figuring out exactly what's going on. I am from yeah. Emberwell. Yeah, that man, yeah. Per that man Perry McCullough. Perry McCullough. And what about this one? He says pointing at Nico, who just said he's from Emberwell. Ah, uh, he's Nico an Tester. He's, he's a Nico Tester. He's a little bit too eccentric for their taste. I am a scientist from Emberwell. Here's, here's my card. Look, before you think he's one of the bad ones, there's a reason he isn't in Emberwell right now. Yes, I I uh, grown, grown tired of Emberwellian's uh, business side. I am out to science and well... Expand my science and find find ways to science everything up. Besides, you you could probably use an inventor, correct? Now, look, let's let, think on his offer. But let me tell you this: I mentioned that I'm in the mining business. Not to think, not so you think. Oh, he's gonna weasel his way in. I do not weasel, good sir. I am thinking. I'm saying that so that you know, I know how to stay out of a miner's way. I'm handling everything aside. It's just a revenue stream, you see. Well, if you want to handle transports, once we start up the mines again... Mm. But hold on, these other guys. What do you know about them? They've been very secretive. They are very secretive. Perry McCullough is a man who's done a recent startup. He's moving about town, and he's got a... He's got something strange on that card of his. It's made a what made a loud thumping last night. His two boys were mighty strange about it. A loud thumping, huh? Like a piston. Like a piston. 
Not get pissed in? Let's see. Roll charisma. Which one of us? Uh, Lydian. Do I get a... Okay. Uh, do I am I do I get a plus one for acting on like a discern or, realities, or just like Cherry has also been plan, huh? You're acting on your plan. Oh yeah, never mind. It's plus one on that. Yeah, yeah. Boom, eleven. Nice. There you go. All right, he goes. Hmm. He. You know what? I think I might just be interested in all this, but. I think I want to check. I think I want to follow through on those other guys now. Oh, I won't stand and, in your way. You are indeed the sheriff. And, uh, and Lydia. Him. Yes, sir. At this point, when you, uh, uh, Lydian, at this point, you look, or you, you can see in your vision with the fairy fire, uh, they're moving that piston thing. Oh, shit. Yeah. I oh god, hmm. Well, I saw them getting, I saw them preparing the wagon earlier today, so you might want to hustle on that. Uh, all right then. Thanks for the information. And yeah, he uh speeds out. Well, Nico, you'll get your opportunity to invent for him real soon, I imagine, because he seems to be amicable. Of course, he seems like he's in the need of one of my gadgets. Well, I'll hand you the floor, but for now, I want to see what comes of that wagon. Now, of course. Yeah. Ex excellent work there, Cherry. Once we've got our branch set up here, we'll discuss rates. Cherry nods. and But yeah, as she's starting to, you know, walk out, like, well, still, I'm definitely not missing this. God damn it. I had a whole speech prepared that I did not need to actually say. Damn. I actually prepared mm -hmm. stuff in case this went differently. I'll just I'll just copy and paste it because I'm never gonna get to say any of this shit. Yeah. No, well, maybe I could save them for nah fuck it. I like this how every... you know it's kind of... I I like Lydian enough that I prepare lines for him in case. Yeah, yeah no. I had l <laughs> you may uh, read it. Cherry thing. had something uh prepared too that we ended up not doing. I forgot that you weren't doing the Revealing that you are from Emberwell. Um, like, you know, I, just because I was so distracted on what came next. Um, you know, I, I had a little anecdote, like a tale for her, a story. If he, or if he was feeling reluctant, you know, I don't, about... Genu um, do you know what the funniest thing is? I said, oh, I'll just reveal where I was fully intending to say, yeah, I'm from Emberwell. And it was literally as I was approaching the E in Emberwell, I just swapped to Emerald Forest mentally. It's like, no, wait, hang on. There's no, yeah, no, no one has beef yeah. with the Emerald Forest. No, it was really, it was really good. Yeah. Okay. Fucking so he... Lydian is steering my brain sometimes. It's Are uh, you following him then? Yeah, Lydian kind of like hustles out of the office. He gives a smile to the woman at the desk on the way out. Okie dokie. So, as he goes to uh, inspect the cart, uh, he sees, he comes across and just sees uh, uh, as he's approaching the cart, you can see, actually, that uh, it looks Cherry like... can't do that. <sighs> yeah, she can't. <laughs> Um, so, uh, it looks like he's going through the cart, and, uh, Perry, the tall, you know, tall guy, decides to, you know, s greet him, and they start talking, and you can see, Lydian, that, uh, the piston is being moved off the cart while they're talking. Hmm. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do here. Uh, Nico's with us, right? Yeah. Hover boots, go in. Yeah. Oh, that's true. He, Nico could. Bird's eye see. view. You can see what's going on. No, like, uh, chair. So yeah, you know, uh, does Lydian, you know, explain they're taking it off the cart and all that when he's like, don't know what to do? Yeah. You know what? I'm just gonna. Yeah. I'm gonna be a rat. 
I'm gonna be an O'Malley right now. As like he's oh, no. talking to Perry, I just kind of sidle up alongside Bragg and just kind of tap him on the shoulder and just say, "Hey, that's the." F he just kind of like whispers it to him, like, "That there's the f that there is the uh, the merchandise, the cargo." Yeah, he looks over and says, "Hey, let me see that." And then Perry just swears and he glares at you, going like, "I don't know how you know what you know, but." Fuck. And like he marches <laughs> off towards uh, the device. That's a good retort. <laughs> I have my sources. Uh, wait, so question. Were, um, were Lloyd and, uh, Curtis, like, w could we see them? Like, could I, you know, or hear, like, were they, are they the ones moving the device? Yeah, like, they behind are. The... Okay, yeah. So they weren't in obvious. I can't just, like, talk to Lloyd while this is happening. Cool. No. How, what does Perry look like, by the way? What's his build? What's he about? Uh, he's very tall. He's got, uh... He's lanky. Got a very, uh... He, but he wears a very, like, wide coat. Oh, okay. Is he, uh, is he human, or is he a fellow elf? He's human. Ah, okay. Is he yeah, a... he doesn't have, you know... What? I don't know why I was hoping to be a just battle of two fucking... fat businessmen. <laughs> I just, I like that one fat, one skinny. You know, it's like a, like, vibes thing. Mm. If I say this town's only big enough for the one of us, he's gonna make a really, he's gonna make the most easy joke about that. I was gonna say, buddy, yeah. there's not any town big enough for you. Morcone's a small town. If you move in, you might tip it over. <laughs> if you get off Morcone Springs, it will launch up. As long as you're in town, no one's going to enter the mines. They'll fucking fear a cave in the moment you get out of bed. <laughs> got these fucking. Oh no! I got to stop. Now How many of these place. do you have? I just took one from the Sopranos. Like I'm, I don't know. Now I'm just thinking about. Them. <laughs> With the way I describe him as tall and lanky, and the way you describe Lydia, you know, I just realized you know the you know like Lydia versus Perry. This becomes this. I did, like, the thing is, Lydian is even, like, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Lamargin, Eriorian. <laughs> I fucking can't even. I, he's not even, like, extremely obese. He's just a bit fat. Like, but now the shows are getting white. to the extent that he's, like, morbidly obese. Well, you're the one who was talking about him, like, I, there was something with stairs in, oh, like, yeah, the no, first I session. I was only joking that he huffs and puffs yeah. going up the stairs and has a unique profile going up them. Yeah. Yeah. He is wide, yeah. though, because he can blockade the top of the stairs. Which yeah. Is... yeah. Also, it's like Ariori. Ariori is morbidly yeah. obese. It's very wide. Wait, but, who? Also, I guess that's weird, because, yeah, he's also a wide that. elf, which... Chat in Discord. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Is is this is this where we're gonna learn that Lydian's father was not an elf? Uh, he was an elf. Lydian isn't. Su Lydian, I've made a break on this because I realized how fucking common it was. Lydian is the first person, the first character I created who has no problems with his parents besides just not caring about them very much. Not for any aggrieved reason or anything. He is just incredibly self-centered. My god, even O'Malley liked his mom. He didn't dislike his parents, it's just the elf village he grew up in, like, the kids are mostly mentored by the elders. The parents don't... Mm. Mm, the, like, the actual parents aren't super important to their development. Cherry is yet another in a long string of characters raised by one parent. Usually the mom, but uh, Bella was just raised by a single dad. And November will be a single dad, too. Alrighty, so, uh, yeah, they march over, uh, uh... Oh, I got a question, actually, while I got the thing. Do any of these men ping as good? No. 
Dang. Yeah. <sighs> Dang. Yeah. Lloyd and Curtis just sort Can't of can't believe as uh, Lloyd and Curtis place the thing down as uh, they go as uh, Harry and them are confronted by uh, Sheriff Bragg who starts asking them, you know, what is that? What are you doing here? You know, they told me you were from Emberwell. What's your business? And uh, as he starts, as he reveals that, uh, let's see, Perry sort of uh, backs up and gives uh, a bit of a, like, like does something with his fingers. And uh, he just... Like puts uh his shoulder, he puts an arm, like a hand on uh the sheriff's shoulders to try and get him to talk, to talk to him in a way. Uh, Lloyd uh crosses his uh Lloyd crosses his arms and starts uh and starts to trying to explain things as well. So his attention, his attention is divided up between those two, and he doesn't notice Curtis. Moves to the side a little and grips the hilt of his sword. Oh, I'm gonna give a shout Ooh. if I'm seeing that. You are? Yeah. Bragg, look out! Yeah, Bragg turns around, goes, What? And then uh, Curtis immediately just like sh- unsheaths. Oh, oh God. No. <laughs> oh, no. What yeah, Cherry do? Cherry has been looking around. She's actually been playing up, making herself look a bit more confused, bewildered by what's going on, you know, head darting back and forth, but very observing. That sort of, um but no, she's very suddenly goes into like alert mode, you know, is more brings to life, so to speak, has her shamisen ready to go. So yeah, wait, did you know, was... she even starts strumming out a little like you know just baseline chord thing? You know, did Brad get hit Hello. by the unsheath, or did the warning work? Uh, Bragg uh turned around and saw the sword come at him, okay. and he brought his his arms up, and his arms got slashed. Ooh, which uh he wanted, of which uh Curtis just like. She, like yeah. swears because he wanted to go for the neck. Jesus Christ! Uh, Lydian, Lydian is out of his depth here. I don't even have my so, one combat ability ready. Ooh. I want to do arcane art. Um, you know, as Cherry, you know, as the music, you know, like intensifies a bit, like this sort of thing. You know, part of it if she, you know, I'll for seeing things, but uh, um. That, like, weird sound they had heard before, like, this almost, like, electric tone enters the playing um, that affects those around it. And I want to roll Arcane Art to use some of the music. Alright. That is a charisma. Nice. Nice. I get two effects. Um... Let's see... Uh, I'm gonna go with an ally is invigorated and they deal plus 1d4 damage forward for, you know, a sheriff there. Uh, And also, an ally's wounds are magically sealed and they heal 1d8 damage for Bragg again. Alright, yeah, Yeah. he's invigorated and yeah, he grabs, uh... Do you want me to actually roll how much he heals, or is this NPC, like, just... Okay, yeah. Yeah, so he grabs uh, Curtis by the throat and holds him up. As Perry and Lloyd start to bolt after having done something to the device, which starts Uh to go off into the ground. Nico, I think this is on you, man. So, let's see... Oh, that accent went fucking everywhere. Yeah, that the went f- like that weirdly was like, like LA. Yeah, yeah. Hey, run past me, Neil. What was it that, that was... falling to the ground? What the fuck? <laughs> so what? 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 Sweet. Just the situation right now. So, Sherry has. Um... Uh, 
Bragg got his arm slashed, but now he's holding, he's, you know, got yeah. Curtis by the throat. Lloyd and Perry ran off after setting off the device, and the device is thumping into the ground. Oh, no. I would, I would freeze the device. Yeah, no, the device must be destroyed. Nico, freeze it. Buy us some time. I could freeze it, but that's kind of boring. Well, if you got anything better, but right now, I want you to buy a time. <laughs> Nico, Nico, adjust his glasses. Behold! My electroplasmic emitter goggles! And just the fucking lasers comes out of it shooting the machine. <laughs> oh my <All> right. god! <laughs> he calls it a nuclear explosion. Alright, roll int. Yeah, and they have piercing too. <laughs> oh no! Uh, He's blind! No. He, like, uh, just immediately, it's like, you know, just going... You know that scene in the end of Man of Steel when Zod's, like, laser eyes are going off, but, like, you know, his head's just, like, thrashing about, and it's, like, just burning through the buildings? Or, like, fucking Shin Godzilla. I don't know. I'm just picturing, like, uncontrollable. It has recoil. Just firing off his laser I'm just thinking, into the like, crowd. I'm just thinking, going, heh, watch this, and he flicks the switch on the side of his goggles and they just explode. <laughs> So yeah, the goggles, Markoff, he actually Markoff, had them on. Mark off one of your charge. Okay. Uh, he was oh, actually yeah. wearing the goggles backwards. The lenses were actually pointed towards his eyes when he turned the laser on. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Cherry's not the only I blind have, one I in the reach, party I now. Recharge, I recharge yeah, to like. I know, I know, I know. Yeah? Uh, you mark off one of your charge, and the, the goggles just sort of like, the glasses just shatter. <laughs> My glasses! And uh, they sort of crumple a bit, squeezing into your, into your head. Uh... Ignoring armor, you take four damage. And your eyesight is very blurry. Oh, God, Nico, are you okay? My glasses! My glasses! I cannot see you without my glasses! Oh, I think Sounds the like glasses agreed with shit. me that your brain is a bit too big for its own good. Just trying to squeeze Ooh. it in. So how much damage did you say? Four? Four, yeah, ignoring armor. One, two, three, four, twelve. Ah! My yeah. glasses! And, uh... As the Brag just sort of puts them up against the wall and just goes, What is it doing? How do we turn it off? He it's yells at Curtis. And uh, eventually the thumping uh, grows louder and then there's a very loud thump. One that comes from the ground. You feel it shake. This is gonna, it's gonna go off. This is gonna be like fucking Yellowstone going off. I i think it's about to sinkhole this place. What the oh, hell no. did you do? And he just thinks, and Curtis just yells out, <laughs> Let me go, please! We need to get out of here! Nico, do you uh, have sorry. any miraculous spells? Yeah, I don't, Brad, I don't have anything that can help in this situation. No, my glasses. Right here. You see, but yeah, Nick, Nico, like takes them all. Can Nico actually like, or is it too much pain to actually watch? Actually, no. It's vision is just blurry, but yeah, Nico just go. You confounded machine, and just gonna shoot it with the ice gun. <laughs> I thought All right, that was... roll it. Do roll. I have a minus or something? Um, no, you don't have a minus. Just roll it. Oh no! Oh no! Mark, mark off one charge. Oh, mark off one charge. Yeah, and uh, your ice gun just sort of falls apart. <laughs> Rat. The materials in this place were insufficient. Well, I'll tell and you this, Nico. I'll tell you this, Nico. You said shooting it with us was boring, but well, turns out the machine is boring. 
into the ground. Anyway, I'm going to start running that, away now. Yeah, and that's when, yeah, there's another crack, another huge thump, and suddenly out of the earth sprouts a gigantic worm. Oh? Uh, oh, fuck, it's Tremors. Uh, I, when, as I'm running away, I do kind of grab Cherry by the arm and pull her back. Uh, yeah, Nico, Nico starts hovering away. Cherry's immediately asking, what is it? What does it look like? It's, it's a big worm. It's a giant worm. Okay. I want to spout lore about this. This okay. is, absolutely seems like something I would have heard stories about. Oh, wow. Well, you know what? Um... Oh, no, never mind. I'll just keep that. Alright. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, you've heard stories of, um... Yeah. Worms that have, uh... Worms that have come, come out of the ground. You've heard stories of them having insatiable hunger. Oh, wow. Yeah. Cherry's, you know, just like... This might be the end of Morricone. What? It can't be the end of Morricone. I just made a deal here. That thing, I mean, from the sound of it, that thing's huge. And those things will just eat and eat. I mean, what, do you think anyone here can stop it? But was that their plan? To summon one of those? I suppose... Speaking of them, what's going on with uh, Bragg and Curtis? Uh, Bragg uh, backs up, drops Curtis, and uh, starts going, running to yell for people to come and uh, gather arms. They got it, a monster on their hands. It looks, and like, Curtis, it looks like Bragg's won in a fight. Curtis just tries to run away. Does he succeed? Uh, the worm goes and tries to bite at him. Interesting. And let's see. Be good if he dies. Be really funny. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he, uh... He, uh, it comes and tries to bite at him. He just sticks his, so his sword directly into its head. Uh, oh, wow. Which makes if he it, just uh, kills it, that would be fucked up. I'm gonna be mad. Sticks his sword directly into its head, which gives him just enough time to run away uh, with, like, uh, like at, at full sprint. And the worm just sort of, like, shakes its head, gets the sword out of there. And the uh, roars as he's running, running and running. Well, he... yeah, what does the like, what's the vibe in the town? Like, do people seem to be coming that, like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Correct... people are coming with, yeah, people are coming with, uh, like, they've got, like, uh, long pole arms, uh, guards are coming, and, yeah, uh, so, some people who can fight are coming to fight. Yeah. No. That's not us. This is Cherry a horrible is... day. So, like, right now, Cherry is mostly, you know, um, like, observing, um, like, asking sort of questions from Lydian, and, like, goes to, you know, is like, well, if they're wounded, you know, Maybe good thing. Oh, she does recommend, uh, you know, like, maybe we should get the cart, get ready to go. I don't think there's anything, uh, you know. Lydian is all too happy the moment she just says, yeah, I'll go ready the cart just in case. And he's just like, he just kind of runs off towards the cart. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be it. Yeah, Lydian's just running away going, oh, thank God, an excuse to get away from that thing. That's way too big. <laughs> well, while Nico is running with you, 
<laughs> with you... Lydian to the cart. You're running away. Isn't that thing something pretty big and sciencey? It's also big and gonna eat me. That's science. You'll be able to figure out what's going on in there. You have to let your passions consume you. You know, like <laughs> literally. A uh, cherry is not going anywhere. Like she's not. She's trying to stay out of biting distance, obviously. Um, but she is, you know, like actually before she even goes to attend the wounded, listening and things. But um, gonna try and. use her, you know, like, echolocation type thing. I wanna, um, discern her realities watching this. Okay. Eight. Okay. Um? This is, this, so what is about to happen? I guess, is what I'm looking for. Uh, well... The townspeople are about to try and slay this thing. Yeah. I mean, more with, like, the worm itself, like, is this, you know, is, especially, I can hear underground a bit more than, like, there are, there, are, there are more, there's more than this one. Okay. Does it sound like they are coming, or just, like, there is definitely more of they're these things moving? And they're coming Okay. Up. There's no. probably two more. Cherry, uh, is going to go and, you know, find drag and you know like relay this to him you know as he's trying to coordinate you know grab him and just say you know there are more ah, damn damn all right gonna have to get everyone out of there ah shit and he just uh runs off to go grab more people and yeah no cherry's like there are several more of these things getting agitated Underground, they're about to burst out any second. Who knows how many more there are after it? Even if you kill these, there's just gonna, you know, start increasing. We have to get. We have to turn that machine off. It's obviously drawing them. Draw, turning off the machine, Nico just turns around. I stop, can help with that. Stop running away from me. Yeah, go turn off the machine. I'll go check the cart. Well, first off, what, where the fuck, where the fuck did Hemlock go? Oh uh, yeah, where are you? For some reason, it turned, it went back. Weird. Alrighty. Anyway, um, as I was turned with my character, Leon Evotaf. Oh yeah, he just fought. He comes up <laughs> from the ground. Is like, finally, <laughs> I've made it back to the surface. No, he just goes. He oh. tunneled. He he rode back here from Grimwood on a worm <laughs> underground. I'm pretty sure he's returned by this point. <laughs> Wait, did he come back? Did he like? He got he got transported to the land of adventure and like pussied out after a little. Bit. No, he he got done there. I don't know. Actually, wait. He, got I don't know how many he actually fixed his Grimwood. Yeah, he saved it. Yeah. Perfect. Like, Azora was like, it, you know, things are hopeless here, the Civil War was getting worse oh, and she yeah, left. Yeah. Like, a week later, Leon showed up, just like, nah, 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 I got this. No Leon big deal. Leon the man with that sand. Yeah. This was easier than Hemlock. <laughs> and now... Sweet, Nico is not a horse. <laughs> 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 Come on, no more of this horseplay. Well, as Lydian will find out, Yurima Kruger de Saltboro is kind of considering life. Oh no, <laughs> is that because he's nearly dead? And that's because, uh, Lydian, as you approach the stables, there's another big thump. Uh -oh. And a crack in the ground by the stables. Oh no, I got 125 oh, no. coin in there. He starts running. <laughs> he... he... <laughs> Run the fastest on. he has ever moved <laughs> since he saw the last muffin on the, like, yeah. breakfast buffet. <laughs> oh, no. I, don't right. know I, I was going to say Danish. Decided, <laughs> nah, that's not what I... Muffin. And I regret that. Danish was a funnier pastry. Yeah, I don't know why I changed it to muffin. <laughs> oh, no, I need that <laughs> last panel chocolat. For some reason, the fucking Linkara running. 
<laughs> he just pictures like the cart as like a massive beignet and starts, you know. Actually, I personally, I have, I imagine Lydian just thinking about his money. Uh, let's see where did it go. Uh, whoop, there we go. I imagine li- li- I- there. I'm a- I'm a- I'm a imagine Lydian like you're looking like this when he realizes there's money there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I've not been making good use of the image integration this now has for the recording. Yeah. Hey, Lydian. Really, Lydian, roll Dex. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, lordy. Oh, lordy, man. Oof. Why do I have okay. a... Oh, have I recovered health over last night? <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, good. That was health you lost last session, so... Yeah. Oh. So, uh, as you get there, uh, you get there and the crown cracks underneath you, and rising from the ground is another worm, and you're directly on its head. Uh Uh-oh. Uh, the horse down, you can see the horse down there freaking the fuck out. Oh, Yurima is down. The, is down in the in the pit, in the stables. Oh, that has just been broken open, and like a bunch of horses are running out of the stables now. So wait, where is Yurima? Is he running out? Is he down in the pit? What's going? Uh, on? Not down in the pit. It's run. He's he's running out of the stable. Oh shit! Oh, what about the car? Because he's not affixed to it at the moment, is he? Uh, no, he is. Shit. So he's pulling the cart out of the stable, though? Yep. Uh, is it... Which is fine, actually, because the worm's about to go crash down on there. Alright, so (laughs) is it, like, moving away from me, parallel to me, towards me, like... What, the worm? No, the cart and the horse. Yeah, 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 The, the cart's moving away. God, get back here! While you're on, while you're on the worm. You know what? Then okay. Well, I'm gonna keep running then to try and get off the top of the worm, and I'm gonna try and cut. Ca- I'm gonna try and cast a new fairy fire. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna cast that on the cart. That's a good idea. All righty. That's an eight. Um, that's an eight. I'm just gonna say. Nah, let's take the more fun option. You draw unwelcome attention or put yourself in a spot. The GM will tell you how. Let's not take the boring option. Let's fucking deal with yeah. it. Yeah, so you get the cart highlighted, and yeah. that's when the worm suddenly turns around, knocks you off of itself, and, like, narrows its eyes. At you. And, like, Bill doesn't have eyes. But, uh, it, uh... Just like Cherry. It, it uh, suddenly, it's just, like, you know, it's got its head pointed right at you. Oh, sweet heavens above. I don't want to visit you today. Neither do I. <laughs> Someone up in heaven thinking, you think you're coming here, mate? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Might. You, you think highly of yourself. So I don't want to yeah, say yeah. is it staring at me, but is it kind of like still scanning its surroundings? Yeah. Or whatever? Yeah. yeah. Maybe. And it opens its jaw. And it's sort of drooling. I'm gonna. Lydian's gonna like pick up a pick up a rock, and he's gonna throw it that away, <laughs> like away from him. Lydian doesn't. Lydian doesn't know how worm senses work. He's gonna presume maybe they mm. maybe they perceive movement and vibrations. And maybe they work like cherry. Maybe. Yeah. It looks that way for a moment, and then roars at you before. Going in for a bite. Uh, um. Hmm. I think just yeah, gonna turn and run. I can't think of a way to intelligence. Lydian's gonna use his enormous size to his advantage. He's bigger than the worm's mouth can fit. I can't think of a smart <laughs> way out of this situation. He's gonna run. All right, roll Dex. Yep. My great stat. Nope. Ooh. Oh no. 
All right. So this is how Lydian dies. The worm. The worm. You. You, you are entrapped in the worm's mouth. Oh no. Oh no. As it just suddenly, uh, and it starts to grind its grind down on you. Ooh. Oh no. All right. Shit. Take five damage. Ouch. This is fucked up. Yeah. I shouldn't have ran off on my own. <laughs> shouldn't have highlighted the car. I should have just went. Uh, well, shit, is it still my scene or are you going to someone else? Oh, uh, let's go to someone else, I guess. Okay, yeah. And then, you know, uh, Sherry's like, you know, we, so we need to shut off the thing. And, you know, yeah, she can hear it. And turns to Nico and just, you still have your boots, right? Yes, I have my boots. If, and I have one, if one more can figure out how to turn out that machine, it's you. You need to go in. And don't worry, I'll keep the worm busy. Well, I have one more thing. But are you required to get to that machine? Yeah, yeah. Watch, watch me. Nico is gonna. Nico is gonna. Basically, rush towards the machine. I am All going right. to assist him um, by using, you know, my shamisen to distract the worm. All right. Uh, roll plus bond. Plus bond. Uh, I have two. All right. Oh, whoops. God damn it. Nice. All right. All right, Nico. yeah. Roll in. Science. It's an eight. So, uh, choose two from field test. Okay. Uh, gadget effects won't last long. All right. And? I always want to take to put so, someone in a spot because it literally just does the same thing. It literally just does the same thing for Cherry, but I don't know if you're okay with that. No, no, put put Cherry in a spot, absolutely. Yeah, yeah no. Wanted attention or put someone in a spot. Yeah, yeah. No, it. it I mean, Cherry is liter. This Cherry is literally distracting the worm with music. Like it, it is very much. Yeah, it makes sense to put someone in a spot. As a yeah. cost with us. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, as Nico gets to the machine, Nico has one ace up her their sleeve, or rather, yeah. it's under it's under her sleeve, <laughs> ha ha hand held up high, we wielding a glove, the electrical application glove, or E A G. All oh, right. Wow. And Nico short circuit the thing. Yeah, just grab it and. It electrocuted it. Alright, roll in. Several thousand volts. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, choose one. From you know what? Test. You know what, sweet? I'm really glad that you didn't have Nico actually improve the thing last night. Alright, roll. Oh, yeah. Choose oh, one. No. From but choose one. Okay, yeah. Um. You know. I'll take, uh, I'll take, actually, wait, if you would mark ammo, um, um, I'm gonna say, fuck it, I'll strip, I'll strip, I'll take, um, I'll take the unwanted attention, okay. because it's a, it's pretty, so we both you know, have unwanted attention, you know, it's All pretty, right. You know, it's pretty, you know, loud and crackling and boom, poof, poof. All right, so, uh, Cherry. Yes. The thing, the worm just immediately descends upon you with its mouth open. Okay. Uh, I am gonna try and, you know, like, Toro this, you know, like, jump to the side, you know. All right, roll deck. Right before Ooh, baby. Yeah, it just hits the ground. 
I have something else I want to do, too. So I'm doing yeah. this with a shaman said, but it hits the ground right next to me. I do have a sword. I want to hack and slash. All right. Roll strength. Or, or dex, because it's precise, right? Yep. Yep. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. I was bolstered by that 10. No. It, uh... You're, you, go, you go to slash down at it, it just erupts back up from the ground. Oh and, my god, that's uh, sick, actually. It just erupts back up from the ground and bites at your arm, carrying you upwards. Oh god. Oh, you know what? Uh, no, th this works. This is fine. Yeah. Uh, take one damage. One damage? Okay. Yep. Uh, and you're being carried upwards. Hmm, that's uh, concerning. Lydian. Yes. You feel uh, the worm stops grinding on you as its attention seems to be diverted, as far as you can tell from inside the thing. Hmm. And you feel it, you feel it, you, you lurch as it suddenly starts to burrow underground and move. Oh no, I need to get out of here, but it's no sense getting out of here if here is underground. So Lydian is kind of waiting to steal himself until it comes back up again, but he has an escape plan. Um, right. Actually, good time then. I'm going to I'm gonna use another use of adventuring gear to prepare my yeah. escape materials. Yeah. I want to get some lantern oil and a match. All right. Ooh, very exciting. So yeah, Lydian's kind of like trying to hold as best he can until he feels like it's above ground again. Maybe like when its mouth actually opens, you know, like and he can see daylight yeah. or whatever. Yeah. So yeah, it it comes up again, opens its mouth. Uh, Nico, a worm pops up in front of you. Oh, I've been reunited. Good Lord. With, I've been reunited with the party. And uh, opens its mouth to come and like bite at you. And Lydian, you see its mouth open, and you see Nico standing there with the machine. What? Okay, oh, so... That is smoking now. Oh good, the machine's busted. The Lydian just kind of like... He's gonna basically, f like, pour a bunch of the, um, the oil behind him, like, down the, down the gullet of this worm and say, I made a business deal this morning and that lit a fire in my belly. And buddy, I'm about to do the same to you. And he strikes the match and he's going to throw it down. He's hoping he's, the worm will try and, like, throw him up, essentially, because of the fire. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, roll in. This isn't a... S yeah! Alright, so, yeah, the thing just immediately spits you up. Down onto the, down onto the ground by Nico. Hopefully. And uh, you, you see it like look, like lurch up, and uh, it roars, and with the roar comes a bellow of flames out of its mouth as it's Sick. up into the sky. Oh, I did, not con I did not consider what would happen after I escaped. I, I just made a fire-breathing worm. I think they call that a dragon. No, that's not they the just dragon. they still call it a worm. They just start spelling it with a Y instead yeah, of a. That yeah. was the that was the bad pun that I was doing. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, cherry, yes, you uh uh are being held up on the uh, held up in the air when suddenly there are shots fired. Oh no! That's from down not good. below, an old from down below looks like one of the people who came to who took up arms is an old gunslinger, who shot who's shooting at the worm. Dingo! And the worm uh, opens its mouth up in pain and drops you. Interesting. You're falling down. What do you do? So, um, this uh, like. I'm falling down, like, kind of alongside the worm, though, right? Yeah. I want to use my uh, wakizashi, you know, to try and, like, stab into it, you know, like, to stop my fall, basically. Hmm. All right. Roll dex. Hmm. 
Hmm. Seven. Yeah, it'll, you won't take damage, but your Wakizashi will be lodged in the thing. Okay. Gotcha. And you'll have to let go of it to land. Yeah. Or, hmm. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. Okay, yeah, so you land safely, but your Wakizashi is now lodged inside the thing's side. Cool. Uh, and, uh... Yeah, you hear one. You hear the gunslinger go. Ah, oh, that one of them's breathing fire now. Oh lord! And oh. no, Cherry does take a moment to. Why did you shoot at it when I was in its mouth? Well, I wasn't aiming at you, ma'am. And he uh, like, reloads. She, you know, mutters something under her breath as she, you know, shoulders her shamisen. And just, you know, says, I'll try and get it to hold still. And, you know, try, yeah, she's gonna go back to the distraction thing. That's the most useful. She's, you know, she did successfully dodge it, and now she can't, you know, fail to hack and slash it anymore. Oh, Nico, it's good to see you. I got some good news. Oh, what would that be, Lydian? Oh, the coin on the card is safe. For the moment. Oh, but what about the horse? It's running. Where? I'll figure that out later. What? Well, anyways, we have a... So, you a worm. You turn the machine off, right? They, that means yes, they should leave I soon, right? That's that's how this works, yeah? No, the worms are still here. We would have to deal with them, but uh, we should not... It would not be aggregate, ag oh. aggravating anymore. I'll t how about I take a managerial position on the getting rid of the worms thing? Sure? Okay, well, hop to it then. Kill the worms. Do I look like a fighter? You're the one who has an ice gun. Or had an uh, ice well, gun. Well, about that, it kind of disintegrated. Yeah, Lydian is just has a look of horror on his face. Don't worry, I have this. Nico holds up their glove. And that is... The electrical application glove. Behold, Nico is gonna punch the punch the worm. All right. Roll I'm not in. a fighter. Punches worm. And um, do I roll strength for? Uh, this is int. You're using it as a weapon, and you're. Oh, yeah. well, or you can spend your one remaining charge to roll int instead of strength. Oh uh, yeah, no, I'll do that. All right. So spend your charge and roll in. It's a seven. On your hack and slash, yeah. All right, roll your damage. Yep, the worm uh, recoils, like tenses up, and then immediately looks down at you and roars, breathing fire on you. Oh. Yep. Um. Uh, Nico, can I try and Ooh. avoid this, or do I take it? No, you take it. Ooh. Eight damage. Ah! Oh, no. That's not good. Hey, does it go and, through armor? Uh, it does not go through armor, but your armor is now on fire. <laughs> oh, good lord. Nico, look like a Looney Tunes fucking charred character, and then starts rolling around on the floor. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. Oh, no, no. Oh. Yeah, one of the townspeople comes and sticks a pitchfork inside the thing. To which it immediately just goes and swallows them whole. Oh no. Oh dear. That was... N no, I'm not making a pun in that situation. Fucking Lydian's terrified. <laughs> <laughs> Please, we're getting, uh, we're getting out of here. We're getting out of here. Uh, Lydia, the pun was going to be, well, that wasn't a pitched battle. <laughs> oh no. But yeah, L instead of making fun, Lydian just fucking pissing himself in terror is just gonna try running away again. Like, you can just get. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, Nico is also running away. That's, uh. Cherry is not. She is still helping this, uh, gunslinger. 